All right, guys, I grabbed another lock from Hans Christians's box from Germany. This is a little Berg, little castle lock. This one hasn't been made in a while. This is a model 116 slash 50, 50 millimeters wide. So these are not bad little locks. Unfortunately, this model, I think, is out of production. I haven't seen these in quite a while. These are really nice. Um, first of all, very smooth to operate. You can see from the square cutoffs, though, they're not half circles, so there's no ball bearings. These are spring-loaded locking balls, but it doesn't matter because, let me take this guy out of here, because the tension, I'm sorry, because the gap is so narrow that you can't even get a single shim in there, more or less two, to shim this guy open. So I got no problem with the tolerances on these guys. A um, little bit paracentric, uh, in, only in that there's warding right here on the bottom. So you can't use, like, the, let me grab a pick. You can't use the entire height of the, of the keyway, even with a very thin pick, because that forces you to the left, and then that guy right there won't let you get access to the pin. So you're forced to pick from there. So we can use bottom of the keyway, and I think I can try. Let's see if this guy will fit. Yeah, that will work. Now we have room to work from that ledge on the right, but because we know that all Bergs have crazy bidding, and this guy is no exception, I mean, this is something you'll find on almost every single one of these Borg locks. Crazy high, low, high, low. And on this one, you got probably the lowest possible cut. And then right behind him is the, probably the highest possible cut. So getting beneath that guy in the front to get access to those high cut ones is going to be pretty hard without oversetting something. Um, I would love to use a nice little thick pick like this, but there's not enough hook on him. So I can probably pick the low cuts, but as soon as I try to reach those high cuts, that lack of a hook is going to overset those low cut ones as he tries to reach up in there to get those high ones. Just on the Berg locks, you just can't use these. So they force you to use, grab something like this. They force you to do something with some hooks. So nice, thin, Euro-style profile. In other words, very thin here, so you don't hopefully overset the low cut ones, but with enough hook to reach up to get the high ones. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's try it. So I'm going to apply. Now, i got to tell you, Hans Christian said in his very short description, the term he used was, you will find this lock interesting. And I don't know if that's because of the bidding or if there's something special inside of here. So let's find out. So I'm going to apply moderate tension. And because I worry about oversetting stuff, I'm going to start from the front. Usually I start from the back. Let's start from the front see what happens. So nothing, nothing. Okay, there's, oh, I'll tell you what, before we get too started, because I just got a fault set there, and it reminded me, let's go ahead and put a line on here, and hopefully I can get that fault set back, but I want you to be able to see that we have a fault set. There we go. And I'll even zoom in just a little bit more. All right, let's see if I, it was around pin three, I think, so we can skip forward to that. There we go, check it out. So now we have, get my pick out of there. So now we have a fault set telling me that this Berg has spool pins, which is kind of cool, always welcome. And So if we have a spool pin, now we're looking for counter rotation. So we're hung up on a spool pin, and by luck, it feels like it is pin one. So when I push up on the pin, I'm trying to force the other half of that spool through the shear line. You notice the counter rotation? If I get the reflection light right there, get that focus, come on. And I got a little click. There we go. And we got our fault set back. So now we know we've beat one spool pin, but we're hung up on his brother. So pin two. When I push up on pin two, absolutely solid. No feedback, no nothing. So we know we're not going to be picking him today yet anyway. And when I get to the one behind him, pin three, again, watch this. I'm feeling it in my finger, but I'll try to point it out here. Counter rotation. So pin three is also a spool. Come on. Come on. There we go. I got him. But now we've lost the fault set. So one of two things has happened. Pin one has fallen, and he doesn't appear that that's the case. He's still good. Or a standard pin has fallen into the shear line. So let's look around. I got a binder on, feels like four. A little click off him. 
Let's look around some more. All right, where have we got here? One is, okay, now one has popped back down. Let's push him back. And there we go. I touch pin four, we got our fault set back. So we are looking for another spool. Let's check one, he's good. So he didn't fall down. Let's check three. Ah, three fell back down. So there's every chance that because we know two is a really low cut, I probably overset him in my in the process of trying to set three. And there we go. Check one again, we're good. And again, I believe, I believe we have overset two again. Those dang Burke lock engineers. We may have to go find a German pick to make this successful. One is good. Three is good. That was a click on five. There's one again. Okay, one was uh, had fallen down. We have the fault set. Let's check three. I think three is good. I think we might have beat him. There's counter rotation on four now. Now we got another fault set, so let's check one. He's good, check three. He's good, force, force giving me counter rotation again. He's falling back down. Okay, we got him. One is good. We've lost the fault set though. And there it is back. All right, check one, good. It's four again. All right. <laughs> Who would have thought a little padlock could be this difficult? No, nope. there's one back down. There's a fault set. I'm good there. Three's good. Four's good. Five is good. Where are you? Dang it, it's three again. Now one has fallen back down. And there we go. What a nasty, yes, indeed. I would say interesting is an understatement. What a cool lock. I wish they still made them like this. Anyway, the Borg Model 116 slash 50 HC, you really picked out a good one here. Doesn't look like much, but when you figure out that tight keyway and crazy bidding and tight tolerance on these little guys, you're guaranteed to fight. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.